Let's have some beer. What do you went down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a can of Space Invader IPA by the Amsterdam Brew House out of Toronto, Ontario, coming in at 6.0% ABV. I've heard a couple people say this is pretty good. Randomly found it in Sudbury. This is not available anywhere in my hometown. Surprise, surprise. Um, seems relatively fresh too. It says E3018. And that would be uh, A, B, C, D, E, 5, January, February, March, April, May. So it's, it's June. This is like not even a month old. So hopes are pretty high right now. Amsterdam. They make some pretty good beer, like their uh, IPAs, IPA-wise. I I like their Bone Shaker and the Fracture Double IPA they make as well. Some of their farmhouse stuff is not really for me, but that's just the way I am. Let's crack this open before I ramble all evening long, and let's see what we've got. Not really jumping on the uh, New England bandwagon there, apparently, but... Looks all right. A picture. Hazy, but not super, super hazy. And then also, of course, the chill haze. Smells all right. Doesn't have any kind of super juice aromas coming at me, but more like traditional IPA, I guess. Just kind of, you know, the piney, resiny bitterness. Multi aroma as well. Let's give her a shot. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I like that very much. It doesn't taste like any IPA I've had before. I can't really even describe what's going on in my mouth. Bitter, dry. But I, 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 let's let's do this. I guess. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I'm really not a big fan. I wish I could accurately describe what's going on, but I really can't. Very, very unusual beer right here. Uh, prepare yourself for an invasion of cosmic flavor. The sky's the limit only for those who aren't afraid to look up. Defend yourself. That's really all it says. No ingredients of any kind. Apparently their retail stores open seven days a week. That's exciting. Um, yeah, for not even being a month old, I'm just I'm really surprised at the flavor going on in this beer. It's I don't know. Like, like the hop presence isn't really there. Or maybe they used some really, really, really weird hops. It's like earthy or something. Like I'm chewing a plant that I shouldn't be chewing on. I don't even know why I let my hopes get up at all. It's like a small dog that wants to jump up all the time. It needs to be taught to stay down. Because I get them up, and then they're just, like, hit with a bat. Bah! Right back down. I don't know. 
don't know what to say about this. It's very, very weird. Amsterdambeer.com. Bring it to Amsterdambeer.com. And uh, then you can choose where you want to go from there. They've got a brew house, a brewery, and a barrel house. So they're obviously doing okay. I expect you to come up with something better than this with how good you seem to be doing. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Good times. Untapped, 3.67 out of 5 with 2,836 ratings. What do we have here? An out of this world juicy IPA brewed with citra hops. This beer, this says citra in it? What? You don't put a best before date on your beers, do you? Like, that's, I'm wondering that right now. Like, was this made a while ago and it's about to go bad? Because... Like, even the... Even the smell. Like, there's no citra anywhere. And some people have been like, out of this world. And liking and some people not liking. So I've got some threes down here. But, yeah, nah. 3.44 out of 5 overall on Rit Beer Advocate. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yo, I'm going to nowhere. Uh, 14 ratings overall. Rate Beer, 3.61 out of 5 with 23 ratings. So, I don't know. Something's, like, not right with this can or something. I, I can't. There's no way this... This tastes the way it's supposed to. There's no freaking way. This would not be getting these high scores. When was it added? There's a question. This has been around for a while. This was added in 2013. Hmm. Now, I, I don't know what your dating practices are like in Amsterdam. Usually there'd be a BB or something like that before the date, if it was a best before date. This just has the E, which would be the month code. I don't know. What I do know is I'm gonna go sit on the couch watch something and force the rest of this you know to the drink number the last down my throat it's not gross it's just not good so you know it's 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 borderline drain pour territory i'm not gonna lie but i don't really have any other beer to drink right now so i'm gonna take what you can get and stuff and things and break God damn this beer, just a bit. Just a little bit. On the upside, while sitting down there, I was going through the internet, and I came across... There's a new Death of Superman DC animated movie out there that I'm currently about 20 minutes into watching. And check it out. So far, it's kind of slow, and I'm not quite sure what's happening, but if anybody ever saw the original... I believe it was just called Superman Doomsday Movie. If you read that, and you also read the comic where Superman died, then you should be kind of pissed off with that movie. Like, the Justice League wasn't there. Nobody was at his funeral. It was just... I watched it, I think, once, and then re-watched it once, just to be like, really? It was that? Yeah, and it was, it was that bad, in my personal opinion. I wasn't a fan. This one, it's got potential. It's, it's actually in the same DC universe as three movies they've done now there was a uh, justice league war i think son of atlantis and then the most recent one that had uh dead man i can't remember the name of it but i wasn't a big fan of that last one it was like more kiddish the first two were like dark and there was a couple swears even thrown in like like up up on par with like the dc real movies kind of thing and i am rambling already like a crazy bastard. So let's just kind of get one more. Uh, yeah. There. Like, 
there's no way this it like it's it's in a can. No light can get into that. If this was brewed on May 30th, then this entire batch has got to be fucked. It's got to be. Like I'm 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 assuming that's a best before date. It's got to be. That's the only kind of saving grace you could possibly have right now. And even then, like your best before date if that's if that is what it is it's off by a little while because this is still within what six days of that best before date and this is not good and it, yeah it does have the snow globe effect going on i didn't even notice that until like just now but looking at the bottom of this there is a lot of sedimenty yeah you can see that you can see that drink number the last yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's been a while since this has happened with a can. It's kind of I'm kind of excited right now. I'm not gonna lie. Amsterdam Brewhouse, your Space Invader IPA. That's like a three. Yeah. That particular can, anyway. I don't know. Fresh again. That was. I don't know. That was a good shot. It went right onto the shelf over there. That's kind of awesome. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. If it shows up here, I might pick it up and try it again kind of thing. I don't know how long it was in Sudbury. I know Sudbury has a tendency to sometimes let things sit around. But, again, when I went there this time, I looked at the freaking dates. And this one appeared to be fresh. So I feel cheated lied to feel used feel dirty and that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then make sure mr. like button gets a little punch in his face if you want to see more subscribe hit the bell notification so you know when new videos are released and if you've got something to say to me comments with the box down below have you had this beer did it taste juicy the smell of citra because if it did, then I'm really kind of jealous of you at this point in time. Yeah. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Delta Vlog tomorrow. Uh, peace out! Especially considering that I just had those two left field really good IPAs recently. This was such a frickin' letdown. Go sit in the corner and cry for a while or something.